The last step is to render this out back to Premiere Pro. Remember, this is a direct link Premiere Pro project that we've opened and graded inside SpeedGrade. To start, just turn off the three up preview and remind ourselves of some of the grades that we've done inside here. To send this back to Premiere Pro, up in the top left hand corner, this button, direct link to Adobe Premiere Pro, will send this back to Premiere Pro. Clicking on it will bring a, a prompt to asking us to save this. So we'll just click yes. And then it will open it up in Premiere Pro. And here is our project opened up. And if I select this particular clip, Go up to the top to my effects controls you'll notice lumetry this is the speed grade color grading stack that we had that's applied to this clip we can't see the layers but we can turn these on and off we can also right click rename this save this and reuse this without even having to go back to speed grade copy this and paste this to other clips inside here so if you didn't particularly uh, grade a clip, you can easily use the copy and paste to do that. To send this out to render, we need to make sure that this sequence is selected. Remember our orange outline around this sequence. Then go to File, Export, Media. This brings up our export settings dialog box and we can choose any number of these formats and in these formats we can also choose the presets that we happen to have inside here so lots of, of formats to choose from if we click export we will export this out but if we click Q then it will launch media encoder and Media Encoder will allow us to go back to work in Premiere Pro and SpeedGrade and render this in the background. You can see in the top left hand corner, this is our Premiere Pro sequence that's loaded. On the right hand side, we've got a number of different presets inside here. Here's some that I've saved myself, but these are the ones that are installed. So if I go down here to something like Vimeo, I can drag one of these over top of this preset. And if I drag over the name, I'll replace this one. If I drag a little bit further up in the top, you'll see that my hand will change from a replace icon to a plus, and that adds a two here. So I can actually output multiple formats at the same time. You can change the location of the output from uh, all of these by selecting all of them. So I'm just dragging around and then clicking in this link and then from here I can choose where I want to output. So I can select that folder and when I'm ready I'll just push this green button and it will start to render this out. You'll notice that I happen to have acceleration in here either a CUDA or OpenCL card with one gigabyte of video RAM and all of the color corrections that I've added will actually be accelerated out of here. So just to recap, we've shown you how to open a Premiere Pro project and use direct link to send that project to SpeedGrade. We've looked at the analysis tools and scopes and how to use them. We've also learned how to create a look, save it, and apply it to other clips. We've learned the importance of using film stocks and how to make your video take on the characteristics of film. And finally, how to render out your project for a final output. Thanks for watching this tutorial. My name is Colin Smith. You can continue to learn more about SpeedGrade using the links at the bottom of the page that these video tutorials are embedded in.